Welcome to round two of our debate on the topic of Kohli showing resistance to Hindu and Indian tradition in the book Homeless Bird. In round two, I'm going to ask that the affirmative or pro team um, uh, shares first their reasons to support their claim. I will then ask for the negative or the con team to do the same. Uh, with the first speaker sharing the first reason on the affirmative or pro side, please approach the podium. Okay, now I would like to talk about the first reason, education from her father, from Koli's father-in-law, and Koli, how Koli gave education to Raji. According to the book, Koli couldn't go to school, and Sasser was a teacher for her before he passed away. Koli didn't know how to read because of no school possibilities, and because of this, Sasser started to have lessons with Koli until she could read perfectly and read perfectly. Uh, the next was when she met uh, Raji, the boy in Vrindavan, who didn't know how to read either, and uh, Koli wanted him to read his poems, and Koli knew how it felt to not have education, so she taught Raji how to read and write. And now I would like to introduce the second speaker, Minha. In reason two, Koli resists by remarrying with Raji. In the book, she married a young and big boy named Harry. After the marriage, they went to Varanasi, but, but Harry died at there, and Koli became a widow only at 13 years old. And after four years, she traveled to Vrindavan with her sons, but she left out and she left out there because because of sex. Then she met a boy named Raji, and they fell in love and Koli got married. For example, on page 207 to 208 of the Converse Koli said when it is finished, we will be married. We will be married. In Hindu tradition, they didn't allow two widows to marry. Actually, law allowed it, but many widows didn't marry. That's why I think she resists tradition. Thank you. And I introduce next speaker, Ada. Um, so, I would like to present the third and final reason, and that is that Koli worked outside of her shilam. Um, Koli was living at Makamal's widow's house in Brindavan. Um, one day, Miss Devi, uh, that was a rich lady, came to Miss M M Makamal's widow's house. Um, Mr. Devi saw uh, Koli's embroidery and wanted to let Mr. Das uh, see her work. Um, Koli visited Mr. Das's sari shop and she got a work, no, she got a job with embroidering and saris. And this is happening on page 175. Uh, Koli worked outside of where she lived, so we as a group believe that Koli resisted this tradition that discouraged women to work outside of their home. Thank you. Thank you very much. I now invite the negative or the con side to begin. Speaker one. First of, all, first of all, I would like to talk about Koli didn't go to school. Koli stayed at home and learned to be a housewife. On page 3, though there was a school for girls, I did not go there. I had begged to go, promising I would get up early and stay out late to do my work. But my ma said school was a waste for girls. The second evidence was when I stole looks, I saw secret in the character I could not puzzle out. When I begged them to teach me the secrets, they laughed at me. On page 9, Koli wondered, will he mind that I have no learning? I wonder a lot. What do you mean no learning? Ma asked in cross boy. You can cook and keep a house, and you embroider as well as I do. Should a wife sit with a book and let the work go? Even though she was, she wanted to go to school, she should have shown resistance to her mother and back to go to school. But she wasn't, so that means she agreed not to go to school and agreed on staying home and learn to be a housewife. Thank you. I would like to introduce the second Chihaya for the second reason. Uh, 
I will introduce second reason. Um, usually in Hindu, um, Hindu tradition, parents arrange the marriage for their child, and it's the same as Cory. Cory first didn't like the arranged marriage. She was kind of scared, but <coughs> um, she married with Harry, and there she didn't resist the Hindu tradition. Now I would like to um, introduce Dan for third reason. Now I would like to present one last reason that shows that Cory did not resist in the book Homeless Poet. Once she found herself without help, without any help in the city of Vrindavan, Cory didn't want to go back. She accepted to stay in Vrindavan like all uh, the other 10,000 widows that are there. Uh, like she says on page 108, somehow I would have to make my life here. So she simply accepted to stay there and she didn't show any resistance by doing that. Koli accepted the tradition of the widows of staying on Vrindavan, not showing any resistance at all. She didn't go against her tradition, so that means she didn't resist against her beliefs and her traditions. Thank you very much. I would like to thank all speakers for sharing their ideas and their reasons with us today. I'm going to pause and give us time to prepare for the rebuttal.